Actually, You Are a Real Runner with Jacqueline Riccio. Hey, it's Jacqueline with SystemsForSelfCare.com, where I teach you to consistently take daily action so you can feel happier, healthier, and more confident. Wow, this week has been a mess. Uh, my week was just, it was a mess. It was a mess. Sometimes it happens. It was just kind of stressful. It's 5 p.m. now on Friday where I'm finally getting to record uh, Food Friday. And yeah, it's just been kind of a mess. I just got home, stuck in traffic, and I was just like, F it. Like, I just want to go eat a bunch of food, sit down in front of the television, and veg out for the rest of the night. And I, the first thing, stuck in traffic, walk into the house. I went right to the fridge, and we had... um uh, this this pastry is from Trader, Do- Trader Joe's. It's like a Filipino cinnamon pastry. And I like went and I grabbed it and I took a bite and I was like, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're standing in front of the refrigerator um, about to eat this thing. You're not enjoying it. Um, you're just like shoving food in your mouth. No, like you're not doing this. This is stuff that maybe you used to do, but you no longer do this. Right. And so I caught myself in that moment. I was like, you gotta change. You need to change this. You're not saying F it. You've already taken a bite. You've you've messed up. You're not doing that. So I was hungry. <laughs> I did need something to eat, but I forced myself to make make a little dish, make a plate of food. Um, and it, you know, it wasn't anything fancy. It was um one of my like go-to breakfasts, which is what I made in this instance, um, is taking quinoa. So quinoa. And it's already been cooked. I, I cook it in the in a slow cooker or an instant pot. So I have it for the week. But I take quinoa and then slice up a banana and um, or half a banana, fourth a banana and um, a spoonful of peanut butter. You put it in the microwave and you stir it up and it's delicious. So you're getting plants, <laughs> you're getting plants with the vegetables or with the, the banana and you're getting protein with um, in the quinoa and, in the, you know, with a little bit in the peanut butter. Um, I put it into a bowl and I made myself sit down. Um, Paul poured me a glass of water, a tall glass of water. And I sat there and I ate this, this dish and I enjoyed it. And honestly, that urge to go eat a bunch of crap because I'm so stressed off, stressed out and I'm pissed off. That urge was no longer there because I gave myself something to eat. And also drinking a tall glass of water helps fill you up. And also I was able to vent my frustrations to my partner instead of eating my frustrations, instead of eating my feelings. Um, I think the other thing I know for me, when I have gotten off track a little bit, um, I, I, I just want to say F it. Like I'm done. I don't, you know, this isn't happening. The, everything's ruined. It's not perfect. I'll start again on Monday. And that even with the podcast, like this week just went by too fast and I didn't get the interviews out that I wanted to get. So even that thought crossed my mind, just F it, just start over again on Monday. Don't even bother with Friday's podcast. It's 5 PM, you know, just F it, start the weekend. But it was like that no, we don't do effort anymore. We don't do all or nothing anymore. You need to go do something, anything. You need to use the tools that you teach your clients, right? And so I guess that's what I'm trying to share is like, I still use these tools. These are the exact tools that I use with clients. And I, not as much anymore um, that I have to like force myself. Usually these are more natural, but like still, if I have a crappy day, I have a stressful day, you know, I might resort back to old patterns. I have to catch myself and change the action, go do the opposite action of what I really want to do. So like, instead of stuffing my face and vegging out on the couch, I got a small plate of decent food and sat down, um, at a table and ate it instead of vegging out on the couch. I forced myself to come record a quick episode to get out, but yeah, like the tools are there And your life only changes when you use the tools, when you are aware of your old patterns, you're sick and tired of those old patterns. You know what those behaviors, what those actions or inactions, you know what that's going to get you. And it's like, cool, I no longer want that for myself. I know I'm deserving of better. I know that I'm 
I can create a better life than that. I don't want to fall into my old pattern anymore. I need to go do an opposite action of what I usually want to do. And so that's how today's episode got out to you. I apologize that, yeah, this week just, it just didn't go how I wanted it to go, but I'm glad that I still showed up today and I got something out for you next week. will hopefully be a little bit more smoother. Um, and we'll get some great content out for you, but go take action today. If it's your Friday night and you're listening to this or it's Saturday, whatever Liz, you know, I've shared so many tools over the past year. Um, one of my goals this year was to show up pretty consistently, create a new piece of content to put out on the internet on the podcast, um, every ish day go back and listen to all of the episodes. I know that there's been some really good ones, um, focusing on consistency, focusing on ta- focusing on taking daily action, um, showing up, even if you've messed up, don't quit just because you've messed up, um, do opposite actions, you know, be aware of your old patterns, take action on these things, use the tools and take action because nothing changes unless you take action. Unless you do a different action, you're going to keep repeating the same life and you're deserving of a better life. Take action. Let me know how it goes. Send me an email at coachjacqueline at jacquelinericchio.com. Get out there and move your body this weekend. I will see you on Monday. Bye. Bye.